morning, friends. Welcome back to another episode of TikTok Dot Story Time with me, Steffi. Thank you for joining with me today, and I'm so excited to welcome you in today's episode. My reading friends, is it just only children and teachers that can go to school? In today's book, we will see how the adults are excited to go to school too. Let us follow them as we read. Sorry, grown-ups, you can't go to school. Please enjoy the story. Sorry, grown-ups, you can't go to school. By Christina Jaste. Illustrated by Tim Bowers. It seemed like any other school day, but as soon as Lady and her brother Buddy were dressed and eating breakfast at the kitchen table, things started to get a little weird. Good morning," said Mom. "Check out my new backpack. It has four zippers and a secret pocket. I'm wearing it to school. <laughs> Sorry, Mommy, you can't go to school. Only kids and teachers. Only kids and teachers." Oh. "Hey!" yelled Dad. "Look at my new high tops." I can tie them all by myself. I'm wearing them to school. <laughs> right. Sorry, Daddy, you can't go to school. Only kids and teachers. Only kids and teachers. <sighs> Just then, the doorbell rang. It was Grandma and Grandpa and Bow Wow, <coughs> and they were all wearing backpacks. Sorry, grown-ups, you can't go to school. Only kids and teachers. Only kids and teachers. <laughs> ruff, ruff, ruff! Barked Bow Wow. Ruff, ruff! Ruff, ruff, ruff! ruff. <coughs> Sorry, Bow Wow, you can't go to school. Only kids and teachers. Only kids and teachers. <coughs> It's not fair! Yelled the grown-ups. We want to go to morning meeting. Bye bye. We want to play ABC games. <laughs> and read stories on the cozy carpet. <sighs> We want to do science experiments. We want to play with our friends at recess. We're sorry," said Letty. "It's just the way it is." "Yeah," said Buddy. "Some things are for you, and some things are for us. It's just the way it is." Hmm. But you can pick us up at the end of the day, and you can even take us to the playground on the way home. And we'll tell you all about school at family dinner tonight. Don't forget, tomorrow we get to go to work with you.
And that is the end of the story. Isn't that a funny little story? My reading friend, certainly it's not just you who feel excited to go to school, but your parents might feel the same as you. If you like this kind of story, please give a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel to hear other special story from me. See you in the other story.